here is a critical point that is generally overlooked. The anti-Semitism of the Nazis had a great appeal already in the mid-1930s to many Arab nationalists and Islamic fundamentalists. From the mid-30s, from 1936 on, Hitler and his propaganda sections made a great effort to win over the Arab peoples of the Middle East. We see that the undisputed leader of the Palestinian Arab national movement of the 1920s, 1930s and 40s, uh, Haj Amin al-Husseini, the Mufti of Jerusalem, was a fervent admirer of Adolf Hitler. The Mufti was one of the founders of the radical Islamic movement, and Hitler saw at once that this man not only could serve his purpose, but wanted to serve his purpose. There is a very important meeting between Hitler and the Mufti of Jerusalem on the 28th of November, 1941, of which we have a full protocol. And what Hitler explains is that this is first and foremost a war of extermination against Jewry. And he tells him to lock this secret in his heart. He is revealing it to the Mufti. It's extraordinary he should choose the leader of the Palestinian Arab National Movement for this revelation, which is in an official German document. It seemed strange to us that a Mufti who was not a pure Aryan was being received by Hitler. But they said, no, we have the same goal, which is the extermination of the Jews. The Mufti was sent to the Balkans, where he raised a Bosnian Muslim SS division. He had several SS divisions, the Hanshar division, for example, where they had nominally Croatian officers, but the rank and file of the unit were entirely Muslim, Arab Muslims, and they were bringing them in from all over the world. I was utterly astonished that the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem had raised a Panzer division of Bosnian Muslims to fight along the Waffen SS. The fanatic Muslim world and Hitler both agreed that no ideology can exist beyond theirs. It's all encompassing. A secular dogma like Nazism is less dangerous than Isla this Islamo-fascism that we see today. It's less dangerous because Islamo-fascism has a religious twist to it. It says God the Almighty ordered you to do this, not the Fuhrer, you know. So it is way more dangerous. It's trying to grow itself in 55 Muslim states. So potentially you could have a success rate of several Nazi Germanys if these people get their way. Hitler has gone and dead. The German people are not uh, the Nazis of 1944. But the Muslims uh, have, have never wavered in their goal, which really is, if they possibly could, to kill all of the Jews. I'm convinced of that. If radical Islamic fundamentalists had their way, we would have another Holocaust. There's absolutely no doubt about that. If uh, Al-Qaeda could produce it, they would. But what begins with the Jews never ends with the Jews, as the West, and Europe in particular, is slowly but surely beginning to understand. <laughs> Jews are the prologue. After the Jews come the real issues. Whatever happens to Israel, eventually is going to be the fate of the world. Israel presents the warning. Islam is superior than the Jews, than the Christians, than the Buddhists, than the Hindus. The only 
deen Allah except is Al-Islam. And whoever seek any other deen apart from Islam will never be accepted. And the Christians are kafirs. And you may say to yourself, no, 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 they're innocent. No kafir is innocent. Two blasts just minutes apart, outside two churches in Baghdad, as those inside worshipped. And you too will make your destruction, because Allah's religion will prevail on this earth. They've been very clear about it. They're the same as Hitler's goals, you know. Uh, kill all the Jews, crush the democracies, destroy Western civilization. They wish to strike down the West. They want to defeat the West. They want to defeat Christianity. They want to defeat Judaism. They want to spread Islam in their own way. It's very clear. We've heard it so many times from many Muslim leaders that they want to Islamize the world. Ayam Inqilab, Ayam Jahanist, dar geografiya va zaman mahdud nemi shavad, tardid nakonid ke inshallah Islam hameh kujar fat fat kard, hameh qulla hai jahan ro fat fat kard. Qad hakamna dunya wa sayati yawm wa tahid nahkum fihi kulla dunya. سيأتي يوم نحكم فيه أمريكا سيأتي يوم نحكم فيه بريطانيا ونحكم فيه كل العالم Radical Islamic groups want to see the world unified under Islam It's only a matter of time until we rule earth until we control earth One day this very flag will fly over the parliament in London We will see this flag that will fly over the White House and we will see the Black House the Kaaba will take Islam to the world. You will take over USA. You will take over UK. You will take over Europe. You will defeat them all. You will get victory. You will take over Egypt. We trust in Allah. Indeed, that is me who sent his messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, with the deed of Haq, with Islam, to dominate all of our other religions, to dominate the United States, to dominate the world, even though the non-Muslims may hate it. At the end of the day, Islam must control us, whether we like it or not. It's a promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a promise from Rasulullah subhanahu wa ta'ala.